Hi everyone, it's me. All right, you guys, we're back at it. We're gonna revive our series of testing viral workouts. So in previous videos on my channel, I've tested a lot of themes of viral workout videos. I've done viral hit workouts. I've done viral dance workouts, viral kickboxing, viral Pilates, viral booty, viral abs. We've tried a lot on this channel and we're gonna go in a little bit of a different route today. We are going to try viral fat loss workouts workouts. So how do I feel about fat loss workouts? First of all, disclaimer, I don't currently have a goal to like lose fat particularly. I'm definitely at a stage in my health and fitness journey where I just work out to feel good, to stay healthy, to keep my body moving, get my blood flowing, get my heart pumping, get strong, stay active, you know, all that good stuff. And I do believe that those are the best reasons and the best mindset to go into a workout fitness health journey. But that's where I'm at and everyone has different goals so I think that's okay so yeah I've never really been drawn to workouts that just say like fat loss workout in the title or in the thumbnail etc it's just not my vibe generally it's not my style so why the heck am I trying fat loss videos <laughs> the answer I'm just curious I do a lot of things just out of pure curiosity I don't know what a fat loss workout is supposed to be is it like a hit workout is it cardio is it strength because to me like my thought thoughts are that if you're working out, if you're moving your body in any way, there's gonna be some form of fat loss. So I don't really know what to expect in a fat loss workout. And when I see a YouTube video that says fat loss workout, I'm like, that tells me nothing. I don't know what you're gonna be doing in that workout. So out of curiosity, I'm just gonna try these fat loss workouts and I guess see what different channels, different influencers, different trainers think fat loss workouts are. <laughs> that being said, I've collected a list of a bunch of viral fat loss workouts that we're going to be trying this week. So uh, yeah, let's just do them. <laughs> All right, first on our list for trying viral fat loss workouts is one from the one and only Lily Sabri. So this workout is called full body fat loss in 14 days, no jumping. So I'm not gonna do this for 14 days. I'm only gonna do it once just to see like, what's in it. This video is only 12 minutes long, so a little bit of a shorter workout today. Let's just do it and see what exercises equal fat loss. <laughs> So according to Lily Sabri, what is a fat loss workout? This workout consisted of all body weight exercises, so no weights, no equipment at all were needed. The exercises themselves definitely focused on like low impact cardio. There were a lot of squats, there are a few core exercises, kind of mountain climber e type things. And then for the structure of it, we were active for 45 seconds per set with 15 second breaks in between. There were no repeats, there was no jumping. So this workout was definitely very accessible to do if you're at home or if you're traveling or wherever you are, you can probably fit in this workout somewhere. Again, it was only 12 minutes long, so it was kind of like a mini workout. And yeah, so my thoughts on it. To be honest, I was expecting this workout to be a lot harder just coming from Lily. I know a lot of her workouts, basically every workout I've done from her has been like super, super, super intense. And this one was pretty like not intense. <laughs> so I feel like this workout would be really, really good if you're a beginner and you want kind of a less intense, more beginner friendly, no jumping workout to do. I think this would be perfect for that. So for my ratings today, I'm gonna give intensity a 6.5. And then for fun, I'm gonna give today a 7.5. I like how she included some variations and different sequences of exercises in there. So it kept things a little bit more unique and exciting. There was a lot of puppy action in this video. So if you love Teddy, her puppy, and you just want to see the little pup while you work out this video is great for that puppy could not get enough in this video puppy wanted the screen time so yeah that's it for this one that's our first fat loss 
workout that we've tried. I'll see you when I try another one. All right, so I just wanna take a second right now to thank the sponsor of today's video, and that is Yvette Sports. If you've been sticking with me for a while, you know that I've worked with Yvette before. So the fact that I am talking about them again just goes to show how great and awesome these apparel items are. So just a little bit about Yvette. They focus on activewear, apparel, obviously, and their pieces are all very, very super functional. So their sports bras are designed for high impact, and they're really designed to help people reduce the risk of getting injured during workouts, which obviously is so, so, so dang important, while also making exercise more effective and enjoyable by giving your little booby friends enough support while you're doing these high impact workouts. As well as being functional, they're very affordable, they're high quality, and obviously they look great. They have a wide range of sizing from extra small to 5XL in cups A to F. Yvette really aims to help women in different age groups and body types be active. They also support students who need high support athletic wear when doing sports in school because of all of their reasonable pricing. So yeah, I absolutely love these pieces. These sports bras are just, they feel so dang good while they're on. They're also made with cool max technology, which acts like a shield to protect the fabric from damages from things like UV exposure, sweat, sunscreen, lotions, all kinds of things. So as a result, this just leads to longer lasting active wear. All of their bras also come with non-removable molded cups and soft microfiber lining to reduce repetitive friction injury and help your confidence just shine through. My personal favorite is this cool blue sports bra right now. I love that there's like a front zipper on it. I think it's really unique. So if you wanna check out Yvette Sports, they're awesome. They also have a really helpful sizing chart on their website that you can use. And of course, I've got some discount codes for you. So you can use Jamie10 for 10% off site wide, or you can use Jamie15 if you're going all out and you have an order over $109. Thank you to Yvette again for sponsoring today's video. You will see me wearing all of these pieces while doing workouts this week. So if you see something you like, definitely check it out on Yvette. And now let's get into the workouts. The second fat loss workout we are going to try today is from Pamela Rife. 10 minute abs and fat burn. Sage? <laughs> Sage? <laughs> this workout is called 10 Minute Abs and Fat Burn Floor Edition. So it's another shorter one similar to the Lily workout we tried yesterday. Let's go for it. This is what we waited for. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. from that one that is for dang sure so yeah this 10 minute video was a very very focused on abs on core basically every exercise we did was an exercise for the core some were definitely more for core strength and some were definitely more for like core plus keeping your heart rate up kind of thing so yeah <laughs> I'm definitely like winded from that one. I think that was a pretty good high intensity 10 minute workout. I think it would be really good to throw into your workout routine, combine it with one or two other videos and kind of insert it in that way. Yeah, I really like this one. It followed the typical PAM structure. So we had 30 seconds active and then zero breaks in between. We went right from one exercise to the other. So you definitely keep moving. That core just keeps burning and burning and burning throughout the entire workout. I thought it was a very like typical PAM workout. I'm definitely gonna do another workout kind of off camera as well now because like that 10 minutes just wasn't enough for my daily workout personally but it was definitely a good like booster for it. For my ratings, intensity, I'm gonna give today a 9. I definitely felt that like that like really really good ab burn. For fun factor today I'm gonna give an 8. I will see you in the next workout. <sighs> my ponytail looks like an absolute fountain today. Look. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
So anyways, for today's fat burn or fat loss workout, we are trying one from Emmy Wong. I've tried a couple of her workouts before, but not too many, but she does have one here called 30 minute full body fat loss standing workout, no jumping, quiet cardio, no yoga mat needed. I'm still gonna use my mat because I just like standing on my mat <laughs> rather than like the hardwood floor. Let's try this one out and see what we think about it. my honest thoughts about this one. You guys know I'm always honest with you. I was pretty bored <laughs> throughout the duration of this workout, but before I get like more detailed into my thoughts, I just want to tell you kind of the tech specs of this workout. We did each exercise for 40 seconds each with 10 second breaks in between. The first 15 minutes of the workout, so the first half, was all unique exercises, and then after the 15 minute mark, we just repeated the first 15 minutes over again, so it was like two circuits kind of a thing. The intensity wasn't really there for me. I think this workout would be great for beginners and I think that's what the target audience for this workout is so I think that makes sense. I did check my Apple Watch though and my average heart rate did reach like the highest that it has this week so maybe Emmy is doing something right here. But yeah, just overall I felt like kind of bored. The exercises were just all kind of basic, generic and I took the time to focus on my form. I feel like when I am doing Doing like more basic exercises and movements. It's a really good opportunity to kind of slow down, look into your body, and really get that like focus on your form back in. So that's kind of what I did throughout this 30 minutes, but yeah, I was like kind of bored. <laughs> for intensity on this one, I'm gonna give a seven, and then for a fun factor, I'm gonna give a 6.5. It was just I don't know, something about it made me feel very dull or something. Yeah, that's it for this one. Hi friends, today we are trying a workout from Chris Heria. Now, I don't think I've tried a workout from his personal channel before, but I have tried like a handful, maybe two or three from the NX channel that he is also a trainer on. And yeah, from past experience, I just, I feel like I don't generally enjoy his style of training, but we'll see. Maybe the content that he puts on his channel is different than what he puts on the NX channel. The video I'm trying today is called Burn Fat Fast From Home. This video is roughly 12 minutes long, so it's another kind of shorter video, but that's all I know about it. Let's see what type of exercises we do in this one. So this workout was a no equipment workout as well. I guess burning fat workouts generally are equipment free for some reason. But yeah, to talk about the workout itself, I am a little winded as you can hear. The structure of this workout was 45 seconds active, 15 second rest. I would say the exercises really varied in terms of intensity level. We had some exercises that were very generic, very standard, like jumping jacks, bicycle crunches, etc. But then we had some like real, real intense ones like full push-up burpees with tuck jumps that was hard <laughs> so yeah kind of varying levels of intensity kind of kept you on like an up down up down kind of thing throughout the workout so I think that was actually structured quite well in terms of the order of the exercises I will say kind of like one con with this video is that the workout itself was only seven minutes long here he did actually mention in the video that he recommends doing this circuit like three or four times over again but he only demonstrated it one time so I guess in theory you could finish the video go back to the beginning do it again a couple more times but today I'm just gonna do it once I do want to do some strength training after this as well so this acted as kind of a good warm-up for me I guess but yeah going back to the con so this video is like 12 minutes long and only seven minutes of it was exercise the first like two or three minutes of the video was him recommending like things to eat diet changes to help burn fat so like not workout related at all I guess 
in theory it could be like decent information but I thought it was just kind of like extra like it could have been put at the end of the video rather than at the beginning of the workout video but then the last two minutes of the video were also used for like promo on his other products which is fine but I mean in terms of a seven minute workout and then five minutes of it in total is used for like promo and talking about other stuff it was kind of just like a lot of filler for me. Overall, in terms of the video style, not my favorite, just in terms of the tone, the mood, the promo, and all that kind of stuff. But in terms of the workout itself, I thought it was okay. Definitely got my heart rate up, definitely got me a little bit sweaty. Nothing too bad here. For intensity today, I'm going to give an 8.5. And then for fun factor, I'm gonna give a 7.5. That is my review today. I think I'm gonna try one more tomorrow, so I will see you then. Okay, so the last fat burning workout we're gonna try this week, Chloe Tang. <laughs> you guys know that we just, we can't do a fat burning theme video without incorporating a Chloe Tang workout in. When I was searching for like the popular fat burning workout videos on YouTube, maybe the first like 10 that showed up for me were Chloe Tang. So definitely, yeah, I had to include her in this video. This one I'm gonna try today is called Intense 25 Minute Full Body Fat Burning Workout, No Jumping Beginner Friendly. Which it is a unique one from her that I haven't tried before. Generally, I find that Chloe's workout videos are on the shorter side, like 10 to 15 minutes. So I'm curious to see how she structures her longer workout videos. This one is 25 minutes long. I'm also curious at this one because there's no jumping in the title and I find that a lot of her workouts have like a lot of jumping. That's what she likes to focus on. So I just wanna see like what kinds of low impact workouts she does here. But yeah, let's just do this one. So this 25 minute long Chloe Ting workout, as you can see from my face like at the beginning of this workout, I was very surprised. This was definitely not a low impact workout. I don't know why that was in the title, but it was very much a high impact, lots of jumping, just like typical Chloe style workout. There were low impact like modifications that she showed throughout the workout, but like it wasn't a low impact workout. Like the main bulk part of the workout was not low impact. So yeah, I don't know what that was about, but if you are looking for for a low impact workout, I think there are better options out there that are actually like geared towards low impact. But getting past that, just doing the workout in, you know, its true essence, its true form. I thought this workout was okay. I thought it was average. It was a bit longer than the typical Chloe workout, as I mentioned before. So I think the intensity was a bit lower than what she normally does, which does make sense. You can't really be going 100% full out for half an hour, unless you're like Caroline Gervin, then you can. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I feel like I was a lot more excited about this one just because I thought it was gonna be a different style from Chloe that I hadn't seen before, but in the end it was just a regular old Chloe Ting workout, which, you know, isn't bad, I don't think, but it's not my favorite. For the majority, our active times were 30 seconds in this workout, but they kind of changed throughout as well. So for my ratings on this workout for intensity, I'm going to give a 7.5. And then for fun factor, I'm also going to give a 7.5. Honestly, was a little disappointed that it wasn't actually low impact because I was really curious to see like what kinds of different low impact but higher intensity moves we would do here. But that just wasn't the case. That's okay, I still got a pretty decent workout out of it. Yeah, I guess that wraps it up for this one. What did I learn doing a week of so-called fat burning workouts? To be honest, the overall intensity level this week wasn't very high. I felt kind of underwhelmed by most of the workouts this week. A lot of them were beginner friendly, which I think is great. But you know, in my books, if you're getting up, if you're getting your body moving, if you're doing any form of workout, whether it's low intensity, high intensity, low impact, high impact, you're gonna burn fat. Maybe there's like more effective ways to do it than others, but honestly, if you're moving your body, you're doing the job, you're staying healthy, and I'm proud of you. So I don't know, I guess that's the takeaway from this week. <laughs> In terms of why some workout videos are branded as burning fat compared to others, I mean, 
that's still a mystery to me. I don't think I learned this week. <laughs> I thought I was going to, but I don't know. Everything kind of seemed to be quite cardio based, quite core based. I guess that's the fat burning style, so called on the internet. But yeah, if you want to try any of the workouts I tried this week, they're all linked below in the video description as usual. And that just about concludes it. So if you liked this video, please give me a like and a comment. If you don't know what to comment down below, give me a bunch of firework emojis. If you like me, subscribe, do that bell thing, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!